Just a quick reminder guys, all of these openings, whenever they happen, again, this is a weekly update, but whenever these openings happen, I update them on my Instagram so that you guys can actually benefit out of this. So make sure to go ahead, follow me over there. And right now, I'm gonna be giving you the biggest updates on the slot openings in the last one week. Now, this is valid for almost every kind of visa. If you're looking for a work-based visa type, such as an H or L-based visa, or if you're looking for a student visa type, FMJ, or if you're looking for business and tourism, B1, B2, all of these visa types, their updates will be present in this video. So make sure that you're tuned in because we're gonna be covering exactly what happened in the last one week and what's in this for the future, what you can expect in the future in the next upcoming one week as well. First, let's begin with the work-based visa types. That's, of course, you know, H-1B, their dependents, H-4, L visa types. All of these we're going to cover right now. Remember, this is both for Dropbox and first-timers who have to actually appear for the consular interview as well. So one thing that I noticed is, you know, people who actually need Dropbox appointments, they are actually not able to find them. However, people who need first-time appointments, that is OFC plus consular appointments, they have been able to get such appointments in the last one week. But mostly for the months of September, October only. In terms of Dropbox, there have been very few small openings that we noticed with just one or two slot releases for the months of July and August for the most part, sometimes June as well, but those were just one or two slots. And given that we monitor with hundreds of accounts, yes, we were able to get a couple, but not for every single one, as you can understand. So, you know, for Dropbox, slots have been a little bit on the lower end and we, that's that's actually fair because there was an opening only about one and a half weeks back, you know, where basically the mass slots were released for September, October, and never months. But that's that's okay. If you miss that opening, don't worry about it. There's still more coming. And even though these slots are a little bit less right now, one or two slot releases in every four or five hours, it doesn't mean that you will still not be able to get a slot. We do anticipate openings, but the openings will come after a little bit of a time okay so a couple weeks you may not get a slot for for the most part but at the same point in time if you're lucky in those one or two one or two slots and we're monitoring on your account you can certainly expect that okay at that point in time it may get booked again that's pure luck again it, sometimes it throws errors so again it's it's a little bit of luck so that's essentially why 24 7 monitoring is so important do it with your friends do it with your family members do it with other people who actually have access to these accounts very important that you actually cover that if you're not able to do it do it through us and we, we can actually do that for you. You can go into guimgrad.com services section and you go into the visa application help. We do that and much more in the US application, of course, visa application help service. But of course, that's that's for other countries as well. And just in case you're not able to do it by yourself and you need our support, you can actually go ahead and you can even message me on my number, which I'll leave in the description of this video. Coming on to the next visa type, that's business and tourism visas, B1, B2. In the last one week, some of the updates over here are again, it's it's basically a similar case as uh, as to the H1B for the most part Dropbox cases. There have been no bulk openings since the last opening that happened for September, October, November months, which was basically with the H1B slots only, you know, B1, B2 were also open at that time. Again, we're experiencing very small, you know, one or two random slots that may open sometimes, you know, but for the most part, that also happens very randomly. There's no specific time and you actually have to monitor 24 seven to see those one or two slots that may open up. And even those slots are for the months of September, October, November for the most part. Again, just like H and L based visas, we do not anticipate major openings in terms of a mass opening happening for the B1, B2 visa because it just happened almost just about a week ago, right? So it can take a little bit of time, but yes, you can certainly expect that, you know, with time, they will certainly open more and more slots. And of course, if we're monitoring on your account, you have nothing to worry about. Like I said, the random one or two slots, whenever they open, they may continue. So please make sure that you're monitoring 24 seven as it is very important. I understand that the accounts have limits, so you have to have a mass array of accounts or mass array of people who are monitoring with you. Finally, coming to the hot topic, student and exchange visitors very important FMJ visa types and their dependents of course are covered in this section so guys you have some good news over here of course June July August months these focus on you and I've repeated that in some of my last videos as well you know June July August are months for the student visa types and your visas will be prioritized there have been some minor openings with about 100 to 1000 slots releasing within the last one week and especially you know all these students and exchange visitors who were essentially registered with us 85 to 90 percent of their slots have already been booked 10 percent at least max attempts there were errors you know got unlucky so for their accounts, we're still monitoring. Don't worry about that. Remember that a mass opening for July and August is pending. That means 15th, 
July to 15th August this this time frame right this one month time frame slots are going to be released for this time frame we do not anticipate it happening within this month though it should happen sometime in June for the most part simply because they are waiting for more and more students to get their I-20s and their DS-2019s and accordingly they'll basically open up the slots but whenever they do we will be there so you have nothing to worry about and of course, we will also be updating you on our Instagram, regardless of whether you have basically enrolled with us or not. Remember, for rejected candidates, some of the accounts were able to see the slots and we already booked them. For some of the rejected candidates, though, slots are still not open, which means their account still has a block. What that essentially means is that as per the official consulate announcement, you will need to wait a little bit because slots for 15th August through 1st September, these 15 days essentially, you will get slots for these dates but they are going to open later on. Again, no exact date has been given, so whenever these slots for these dates open up, it's critical that you know students who have been previously rejected, they go through this and they basically book their slot at that point in time. All right, so make sure that you already have that monitoring on, and of course, you know, getting through the getting through the rejection, right? Overcoming that is also something that we can help you with if you're working with us. Remember that these openings are still scheduled to happen and I will be updating you if I have further updates on exactly which dates or which weeks, you know, whatever the closest we can get to that, I'll be updating you on my YouTube as well. But as, as I mentioned, Instagram is sometimes a little bit faster. So you may want to go ahead and check that out. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. These are the biggest updates in the last one week. And of course, I look forward to updating you in the future as well.